Oh, sorry. Sold so many albums and performed at the iTunes Festival this year. And you're getting an award now. You're a busy man at the minute. Very busy. Doing everything I always wanted to do. So I cannot be happier. It's uh, been um, a long process, actually, to get here. You know, through the studies, coming to London and all of that. And then you work hard. You want to get out of that... Um, out of that... Um, comfort zone and get out and play guitar for people so I'm, I'm very very happy at the moment. It must be an affirmation as well I guess for the amount of time that you have to spend on creating this music. How is it being at something like this? Are we going to be up there and making famous classical musicians in the world and sort of making your way now at the very beginning of your career? It's really and truly a dream come true as, as I said when I accepted my award because we all dream about one day picking up this statue, and it's, uh, you know, one of the most prestigious, if not the most prestigious, um, uh, award ceremonies in the world. So it's a great encouragement and uh, a great uh, inspiration for the future. Victoria, if you were right, please. You also performed recently at the iTunes Festival. Actually, it wasn't this year. It was in 2010. Um, yeah. It was. It was in 2010, and it was actually. I was um, uh, supporting Rolando Villazon, the most fantastic tenor, and I think we were the first classical musicians to do it in 2010. So it was one of the most amazing experiences because. Just a couple of days before that, I was signed to my label and everything just started. So it was the first big gig that I had to do after that. And so many people are saying as well, I mean, I heard it on the carpet when I was outside and now down here, about how these young musicians are now taking over the world, classical world of music, because there are so many young artists coming through at the minute, whereas it has been perceived in the past to be quite an old, old musician sort of world, if you will. So how is that to be sort of like putting this sort of fresh, young spin it, along with, you know, the likes of Benjamin, who just picked up it is amazing, of course. It's, there is so much young talent and we have to do everything possible to encourage it. And I mean, I'm 29, so I have, I, I'm older than Benjamin and these wonder kids and these amazing kids who are doing wonders on their instruments. So it's just uh, this country has to remember to support these people because they are the future of music and classical music is, is the mother of all music and it should be nourished and uh, nurtured and taken care of because it's, it's, there is no music which speaks more honestly to, to a human soul than classical music. So, uh, so yeah, I think future is bright. I think with everything that's been happening for the past couple of years and uh, all else, it was, yeah, I think future is bright for classical music. Fantastic. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thanks.